this year and the next few months due to the Durham wheat yield this year. Elizabeth Shores elaborates. Durham wheat is used to make pasta as it's harder than normal wheat. Hot weather and a lack of rain has led to lower quality yields, and we could see this reflected in pasta prices. Sean Sanford, a manager at the Walrus restaurant, says an increase like this would have a noticeable impact. Any price increase in any of your food products is always a concern because, you know, any restaurant, us included, you know, you don't want super expensive stuff. You know, you want that uh, menu price to be something everybody can afford, uh, you know, for what you're getting. But, you know, if prices go up, you, you know, you got to find that money somehow. And unfortunately, it uh, oftentimes rolls into the you know, price on the menu. According to the Wheat Commission's Policy and Marketing Director, Jim Peterson, Durham counts for 10 to 15 percent of North Dakota's wheat production. He says values for Durham will definitely be higher, though not as high as they were a few years ago. He says Durham prices were about $7.50 a bushel in early June, but some bids are now at $11.50 per bushel. A lot of times retailers will use it as uh, a rationale for increasing the price of pasta in the store, uh, when in reality it's, it's not a very big share of their cost anyway. It's transportation costs, labor costs, packaging costs, advertising and promotion costs. Um, all of those make up the bulk of that cost of the box of pasta. Peterson says things may not be so bad though, depending on how the Durham that was planted later in the season and Canada's Durham crops turn out. In Bismarck, I'm Elizabeth Shores reporting for Your News Leader. North Dakota is one of the leading Durham wheat producers in the U.S.